Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I want to talk to you today about why maybe you're struggling a bit with getting a more robust immune system. And I want to let you know on our website, rootcausemedicalclinics.com, I go into this very in depth in a recent blog. Uh, but basically, what happens when your immune system functions, when it when it kills a bad guy, which of course you want it to do, it basically uses something like bleach, which is what we're all cleaning our surfaces with right now, but it's a pro-oxidant um, condition, basically. It's, it's the way the immune system does that is it just sends out like this toxic cocktail of bleach and destroys bad guys, which of course you want it to do and you want it to be very good at that. Um, however, on the contrary, when the body's dealing with toxins, that's an antioxidant type of condition. So the exact opposite. So one's pro-oxidation like bleach, the other one's antioxidant using um, antioxidants like glutathione and vitamin A and C. So these are very different conditions and um, because they're different substances. So that's, that's in a normal environment, that's what's occurring. The body knows if it's, if it's bleaching or if it's not, <laughs> right? So it's, it's either a, an organism that needs to be killed or if it's, if it's a toxin, that's, it's, it's operating in a different fashion. So as long as it can, can turn on and turn off and be here and be there, we're fine. So what happens is, and this might be someone you know whose immune system is not as strong as they need it to be, they get sick frequently, they don't seem to be able to defend themselves, or they kind of, uh, I run into a lot of patients, either they frankly get sick uh, often, or they, they're always just on the verge, you know, it's like, oh, I feel like I'm getting a sick, I almost feel like a sore throat, I feel a little flushed, and uh, my lymph nodes are a little sore, oh no, it's gone. Oh, I'm getting sick again, you know, and they're in that ebb and flow a lot. So it can manifest in a number of different ways. So what happens with chronic inflammation is when um, basically you're in a state of uh, chronic inflammation is associated with a number of very common diseases you're familiar with, heart disease, diabetes, obesity, arthritis, asthma, autoimmune disease, Crohn's disease, joint pain, long list of chronic inflammatory conditions, uh, IBS, IBD, so any, any of these conditions, and, and it is a longer list if you have them, that's a chronic inflammatory state. And please note that heart disease, our number one killer, diabetes is, is huge, and obesity, we're all on that list, and that includes a great number of Americans. So this chronic inflammatory process, when you're in that, you're at, and a, in a position with your body where you, where you will be accumulating toxins because you're in this more pro-oxidant state, which means you can't be doing antioxidant at the same time and toxicity levels are accumulating in your body. So why is that? We rely on our liver to transport toxins out. So the liver, it's like a, they, they call it sort of the drainage system. So toxins come in, the liver deals with it, it drains out of the liver cells into your bile, which is something that the liver produces. Um, it's housed in the gallbladder and that bile transports it. It's, it's a detergent actually, and it transports those. It has a detergent-like activity, I should say. Um, and the bile transports it into your gut and and then out it goes when you poop. Okay, and that's the end of that. There's a little bit of detox that happens through the kidneys as well. We'll focus on the gut because that the, the liver through out uh, to the gut and excreting it when you go to the bathroom is is the major way uh, that we do get rid of toxins. So um, when you have chronic inflammation, you this is all also putting a drain on the your immune system, as I mentioned, and is putting uh, pressure on the gut. So you can get this inflammation chronically in the gut, uh, creating a process called leaky gut. And with leaky gut, uh, just that, the, the gut is not, is, is hyper permeable. It's letting things out that shouldn't be let out. So remember, the toxins get come out of the liver, into the bile, into the gut, and excreted, right? But if you have a leaky gut, now they're going back into circulation, they're going back into your bloodstream. And 
Uh, these are called endotoxins, and they're actually just pieces of uh, bacteria often in organisms, but even though they're pieces, it doesn't matter. When they leak out into the bloodstream, your body mounts a response as if a huge infection is occurring. So that's what's putting a lot of body burden on, on your um, on your system. So the leaky gut, the endotoxins out into the blood, and now you have this pro-inflammatory state. So you're, you're inflamed, so you're not getting rid of toxins. What are some signs that you're not getting rid of toxins? You're tired, you've got brain fog, you feel stressed, wired and tired is another symptom. Uh, you can have trouble with insomnia, thyroid symptoms. The thyroid is a magnet for toxins. Uh, very interesting. We see that all the time. We recently had a patient though um, and her TSH, which is a major indicator of thyroid function, was really high, meaning the thyroid was not functioning well. Did nothing for the thyroid, just handled the toxin level and that TSH is now beautifully perfect. So. Um, it, we see this a lot. Uh, I'm not saying to stop your thyroid medication, obviously, if you're on it, uh, but just to show you that uh, thyroid gets very affected by toxins. It's, it really truly is a magnet for it. So we had the fatigue, the brain fog, the stress, wired and tired, insomnia, um, thyroid issues, and in, in, uh, the insomnia issues, and decreased immunity. So the symptoms of toxicity, I mean, really hits your overall well-being. It hits your nervous system. It hits your immune system again. And of course, your energy level, you're pretty exhausted. So uh, these are the symptoms for that. So what we have found is that a lot of times people are struggling with lack of of strong immune function because this underlying toxicity, this inability to get rid of toxins is putting a lot of stress on their immune system. So it's this, well, you know the name of our clinic, root cause, but it is, it's an underlying root cause that's pulling and weighing on that immune system because we're not identifying it. So then people go, well, well let's do a detox. Hold, hold up, not so fast. So what we have to do is we have to make sure the body is is ready so we don't want to so here's your liver and it's all clogged because all these toxins are coming its way and it's so overwhelmed it can't even process them uh, and it's just recirculating them through your system making you more inflamed so we can't have that you have to get ready for a detoxification and do it in the right order. A really common source of toxins is heavy metals another common source is mold um, so people just say, oh, let me just sort of, you know, mobilize this, this stuff in my, in my body. I'll take some herbs and things like that. And then they go, wow, I feel a lot worse because you've, you've mobilized them and your body wasn't ready to grab onto them and pull them out. So uh, we call it the push and pull of toxins or the push and catch of toxins is really better said. And um, Dr. Christopher Shade from uh, Quicksilver Laboratories, Quicksilver Scientific Labs, um, coined this phrase of um, push catch. So, you know, you push them out, but then you've got to be able to grab them and, and pull them safely out of the body. And there's that dance of, of don't push out more than you can catch and, and get rid of. Otherwise you're recirculating and you're putting your body at greater stress. So, um, everybody's different in this regard of how much they can take. That's why uh, chelation of heavy metals, which we don't do it that way, we, we do a more natural approach, it requires no IVs, but chelation of heavy metals, people can get really sick and it can take them years to um, chelate out their heavy metals and it shouldn't take that long at all. Uh, but the chelation, it's very hard to um, get that being done at, at the right pace for, for many, many people. So. Uh, again, I just wanted to put the science out there as far as how this goes and then the program is really tailored to each individual, you know, looking at your liver function, looking at your gut function, looking at your diet, you know, there's a lot of things we need to do to sort of clean house so that we can then, as we mobilize toxins, again, catch them and safely pull them out and in a process that um, the body can tolerate and it's not adding more of a body burden. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. It was a lot. Um, there is a blog on the website um, 
that uh, speaks of this, and I'll put it in the description so you can, you can find it. But please know that if you're somebody who's just really kind of battling uh, feeling in any of these ways, feeling chronically inflamed with any of the conditions, or again, this, you know, your immune system is just something that you feel like you're just constantly um, you know, kind of battling. It's like you get over something and then you feel good for a while and then you're back down again. Uh, it shouldn't be that way. And it's a really, it's a, it's a sign your body's really under a lot of, a lot of stress and we need a robust immune system always. But of course our attention is particularly on our immune systems these days with COVID-19. So I hope this was helpful information. Um, if you are not functioning the way you want as far as your health, please reach out. That's why we're here. We are open during this time, I'm happy to say. We can, we can work with you long distance. If you're local, you can definitely come in. Um, a lot of our local patients are happy to get out of the house and come in, and, and some are uh, working with us long distance if there's somebody who's you know more at risk. So uh, we can do either. Give me a call, 408-733-0400.